Yo, Carla Freta, my name is Ardalur, and today I'm going to show you how you can take a bunch of individual photos and within Premiere Pro stitch them to a beautiful time lapse, a video time lapse, you know what I'm saying? All right, so first of all, I just want to thank my sponsors, my hair. If you need, you know, great hair tips, I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. Just ask in the comments and I'll, I'll swear I'll show you, you know, this is... Anyways, enough of the nonsense. Today I'm gonna show you how you can stitch the photos together. It's super easy. And then I'll show you a few practical tips that is really good to know when you are doing this. So first thing first, I need my glasses and we open a Premiere Pro. All right, so welcome to Premiere Pro. Here in the project folder, you just right click and then you press import. You can also press Control I or is it option Mac? I don't know, I don't use Mac. So press import and then you're gonna locate your folder. Mine is in time-lapse and here I have it. Now here's the important part. You click the top photo. So of all of these here, I click the top in the left corner, the first one, and this here needs to be selected. Image sequence. If you don't have this selected, you are not gonna get a video out of this. So you just need make sure that this is selected here and then you press open. And now Premiere Pro will automatically create a video sequence for you. So look, it's here. And now you can see that it, this Premiere Pro has created a beautiful time lapse. Now, there are a few more things you need to know if you want to make this perfect, so stick along. As you can see, by default, Premiere makes this a 25 frames per second file. Now, that's okay if you're going to create a 25 frames per second video, but if you're creating, you know, 24 or 23 point, what is this, 976, yeah? Then you need to do some changes. Now, look. So the way you go around that, let's say we press Ctrl M to create a new sequence. We create here a full HD, doesn't really matter, you can create any sequence you want. And, but here we use the 23 976, press OK. Now, to match this up, you need to press the file here, your uh, time lapse video, right click it, and you go up to modify and interpret footage. Click on that, and then you can see this. Now you can you <laughs> click here and assume that this is 23.976, press OK. And you, as you can see now, now Premiere has made this to a 23, like we're just gonna call it a little bit less than, you know, 24. It's like 23.976. All right, so once you drag it on, you will see that it's punched in a lot. If you're working with a 4K, it's gonna be punched in less, but like here we have full HD, it's punched in a lot. That's no problem. Up in FX control, you go under scale, and here you can just scale it down to where it fits and I would say this is this looks good here to me we can make 33 and if you go here you can also like move it around as you like now it looks like this and it's starting to look you know pretty decent and um, if you want to fake movements which is really popular in uh, when you are doing time-lapse video no problem I'll show you how so let's say we're gonna do the classical zoom you just click here toggle animation and then you go start by going here and press 50 and then we move this all the way to the end this keyframe now you're basically creating keyframes mm -hmm. and now as you can see you're zooming a little bit in let's say you want to add you know a little bit a pan a slider motion no problem we punch it into 50 so we have room to move and then we just create a keyframe here toggle animation and we create no not this one sorry it's this one here and we start it like right around here and then we move it to, I don't know, right around here. And now it looks like this and it moves very beautifully around. And you can also do this to up and down. Very, very simple. Anyways, once you nail down the movements you like, you've already imported it. If you want to speed this up, it's no problem. You can right click on it here and you go to speed and duration and we can do 300. And now it's like way faster. It's very simple, all right? So the last step, if you wanna export the video, it's also very simple. You just like make sure you have the working area bar on top of it, and then you go Control M to go to the export settings. And here I always like to have here in YouTube, YouTube either 4K or HD. What this does is that Premiere already has great preset settings for exporting to YouTube. And I do a minor adjustments. I make sure that I render at maximum depth. I go down here, I do VR2 pass, and because I want to ensure maximum quality, I make this 30 and this here 40. This ensures that we have the highest possible bitrate. And when YouTube is, you know, compressing your video, you're ensuring that you keep the 
highest quality possible or at least i think so <laughs> and then you go maximum render quality here and you are good to go in a press export damn that's it so that was not so hard you import it and do all this stuff if you need any more help you can always ask in the comments down below i promise i'll do my very best to answer and yeah i'll you know if you didn't get it you can rewind <laughs> i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out Peace.